Hawaii is just a little dot on a map or globe. And yet in 1912, this pure-blooded Hawaiian quite uh, set the world on fire. A Duke's uh, sudden emergence, you know, as a international star uh, in 1912 when he won the Olympics was one of the most electrifying things that, uh, that ever happened. Uh, so electrifying that it really did put Hawaii on the map. Nobody even knew where the Sandwich Islands were, the Hawaiian Islands, you know. He stood the test of time. His ability was uh, transcended one race or one particular given period of time. And, uh, you know, I, there's a lot of athletes that, uh, you know, they have their 15 minutes of glory, as Andy Warhol would say, but uh, Duke had 50 plus years of it. Uh, as far as the athletic goes, his whole life was glorious. He was a gentle soul and always had time for you if you wanted to talk to him about anything. Uh, great coach, wonderful coach, um, always willing to help kids find their way around the beach and direct them to get them out of mischief if they got into mischief. And I just remember him as being quite an awesome looking figure to me because I was little and here was this big, big guy, just, just incredible. She looked the perfect Hawaiian. Perfect Hawaiian. Um, none of us ever can come close to being, being that kind of a person. He was uh, the pure. He was the pure bread. for son of gods, son of Tara Tatu. They here, Oi. It's a safe bet to say there were many Duke Kahanamokus, uh, but yet there was only one. That is to say, every kid in Waikiki learned to swim very early. Um, and as Duke learned, so did they all learn. They were simply thrown in the water by an uncle or a father and, you know, you swim. There's certain gifts were given in life, and, and certainly Duke's gifts from his ancestors were, were his uh, just natural ability in the water. Um, uh, he often joked about how big his hands were, and his feet were like fins. The, those feet and those hands were something else in the water. He moved like a fish, like a, a big fish. He was incredible. Is when he stood on a surfboard, his feet were close together, he stood high, and every movement was like, uh, it was like a ballet dancer. It was fantastic. You know, I mean, everyone who looked at Duke surfing wanted to surf like him. But you'd jump up and it, it didn't work, you know. <laughs> you'd fall off unless you spread your legs way apart. And, and, and he had that ability to, to stand with his, his, you know, his toes, and he never used wax. You know, it was just a, it was a delicate feeling in the toes that you could see. It was Johnny Weismuller that, that beat Duke in the 1924 Olympics. And uh, to Duke's, uh, Duke had the most charming thing to say about, well, it took Tarzan to beat me. But this was before Johnny, you know, Weismuller became Tarzan. But Duke lived in California, 
and on the beach. He was an extra, and everybody used him. John Ford, everybody loved him, and, but he never became a star. It was fun to take Duke to Vegas and, and go to see the opening of some show and have people like Robert Taylor and major movie stars and everybody falling all over their feet just to get near Duke and, 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 and the hell with the other stars. I mean, Duke was a star star. When President Kennedy came here, he didn't give a damn about anybody, uh, the political thing of it. He wanted to talk to Duke. That was his hero. See, we all have our heroes. Uh, very few people knew uh, about Hawaii. After all, we're just a little dot in the ocean, you know? And, um, and, uh, and to see a pure Hawaiian must have been something. And I think that he was the best example of Hawaiian that, 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 that has ever been. Tall, uh, unpretentious, humble, kind. We haven't really lost Duke. There's Duke Ahanamoku and a, and a lot of the youngsters that are running around Hawaii today. Uh, and uh, it's wonderful to have Duke's memory, important that his memory be be widely publicized because he was such a good role model. He would have been a great a symbol today, like the Queen of England is a symbol of unity for England, the throne. Not saying, not saying that he's a, he would be a, a king or something, but a symbol, a symbol of uh, an example for all Hawaiian people. He would be a perfect example for all Hawaiian people to follow. <laughs>